Keith Lee talks WWE release, Vince McMahon's vision for Bearcat character on Chris Jericho's podcast, Michael Elgin files lawsuit against Impact Wrestling, and more. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo, you're watching the latest. Let's go ahead and jump right into the news. We're kicking things off with Keith Lee, who appeared on Talk is Jericho. Take a look at what he had to say. During his appearance on the latest episode of Talk is Jericho, Keith Lee discussed the Bearcat character he was given towards the end of his WWE run. Lee was repackaged as Bearcat Keith Lee in September 2021, less than two months before he would be released by WWE. Before he was given the new gimmick, Lee had returned to the ring in July 2021 after being out of action for five months due to a scary battle with the after effects of COVID-19. Chris Jericho asked Lee on Talk is Jericho if he thought WWE losing faith in him during that five month absence led to him being released. Keith Lee then told Jericho that he was about to come back when they told him of their vision of Bearcat Keith Lee. Lee said that during that time he didn't really understand the idea of it. He then went on to have his second match, a loss to Karrion Cross. It was then that in the middle of the show, Vince McMahon pulled him into a room and wanted to sit down and have a chat. Keith Lee said, quote, but it was in that that conversation he basically was like listen I need you to do this I need you to be this and I was like I mean listen I work for you so if that's what you want that's what we're gonna do Chris Jericho then asked Keith Lee to explain what Vince McMahon's vision of Bearcat was Lee then opened up that Vince was not a fan of how he spoke how he delivered things and his choice of diction Lee said all of those things is something that Vince was not a fan of to the point where he literally told me, he's like, you sound too smart for your own good. I'm like, I don't understand what that means. What is that? He wanted something more grimy. I don't know. I don't think I delivered that for him. He wanted some intense guy and I think that I can be intense, but I need a reason to be intense. It's easy for me to flip a switch, but if it doesn't make sense, it's hard for me to do that. Lee said that the only direction that he was given was to be intense and angry. After his WWE non-compete clause expired, Lee signed with AEW and debuted on the February 9th episode of Dynamite. He'll be one of the participants in the Face of the Revolution ladder match at this Sunday's Revolution pay-per-view. The winner of the match will become the number one contender to the TNT Championship. And in other news, Michael Elgin is suing Impact Wrestling. Here are the details. The lawsuit was filed by Elgin on February 8th in the Circuit Court of Davidson County, Tennessee. Elgin is seeking not less than $5 million in compensatory damages. According to documents obtained by PW Insider, Algin is claiming that Impact breached their contract by removing him from its programming in June 2020, following allegations made against him during the Speaking Out movement. Algin is also claiming that Impact Wrestling prevented him from working at Pro Wrestling NOAA back in December of 2020, saying that it's damaged his reputation in Japan. On June 22, 2020, Impact announced the termination of Joey Ryan and Dave Chris following allegations against them as part of speaking out. The company also revealed that Algin was suspended pending a further investigation. Impact then released a statement on June 26, 2020, announcing that Algin would no longer appear on its programming. The lawsuit alleges that Algin was told by Scott Demore that there would be no investigation into allegations. Algin's contract with Impact Wrestling was set to expire on April 15, 2022. But according to his social media post, he has not received payment from the company since February 15, 2022 due to the lawsuit he filed against Impact, leading him to be a free agent sooner than expected. This is still a developing story, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and jump into some major news for All Elite Wrestling. AEW announces its first ever $1 million gate. AEW has achieved a new milestone crossing 1 million in ticket sales for a single show for the first time. In a recent tweet, Tony Khan announced that this year's Double or Nothing pay-per-view is the company's first million dollar gate. A ticket pre-sale for Double or Nothing began yesterday, with tickets officially going on sale to the general public today. Double or Nothing is being held at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas on Sunday, May 29th. 
Alrighty, everyone, that is it for today, but we are headed into a major wrestling weekend with AEW Revolution taking place. Keep an eye out for my post show, which will be taking place on this channel on Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. But until then, I will see you on the next video. Do not forget to give this video a like, subscribe to F4W Online here on YouTube, and if you haven't already, if you want to chat wrestling with me, follow me on Twitter at underscore Denise Salcedo. See you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Before you head out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out our story regarding Tony Khan purchasing Ring of Honor and Vince McMahon's interview with Pat McAfee.